Welcome back, Okerheads. Halo Okerheads here. Just going to be uh, showing you um, the end of our war and let you know how we did. Sadly, my friends, we lost. Disco to party. We could not defeat uh, the level 8 clan, Ka to Ga Gang or Gang or whatever. Lost by four. Uh, but today I wanted to show you some top Town Hall 10 defensive plays. Um, just to see um, what, what it's like up here in Town Hall 10. This is uh, my base. Now, on mine, I, I definitely copied this layout. Uh, I think it was featured in some of the, you know, like Clash Rats or some of the other ones as well. So definitely copied it, but uh, definitely had a strong uh, fa fail on their number two, um, Michael. He, he couldn't do anything. Uh, I think he could have gotten the t one star if he had used his freezes better. He bought he brought three along, but for some reason, like right after this freezes, he just lets it uh, my um, infernos just take out all, all his wizards. You should have freezed them right after each other. Then he was gonna definitely be able to break through and definitely get the the one star. He wouldn't have gotten the two star, but this is uh, I like this base so far. This is actually the first. Uh, war I've used it where someone's attacked me and it held up held up pretty well and I don't even have maxed uh, town hall um, defensive units again I'm still uh, <laughs> trying to catch up and, and upgrade my defensive units uh, this is f another good uh, defensive play from our town um, uh, from three tig bear uh, no, uh, number two was attacking him and uh, that loon there failed to uh, lure the clan castle. Smart Tesla play down there for sure. But I like this base uh, just because if you don't have a good attacker, it's hard to overtake. And he is not bringing witches, uh, which is, um, this base is culprit to witches, sadly though. Uh, so he is bringing the golems and a bunch of jump spells. And he's bringing tons of wizards. He didn't spread out any of his wizards at all. Uh, now, I do like a different version of this base, where in the center, you don't have um, any uh, defensive structures on the outside. There's, there's a little gap. And so the golem, I mean, it's a, a ring base of um, all the storages right next to the inner wall. And so that way, the golems will not go into the center. They'll just go around the base. And because they won't go into the center, it's very hard to get more than one star. Now these bases are culprit to easily getting the one star. Why is that? Well, there's so many defensive structures right in the um, center there, at uh, center ring. Uh, it's easy, especially if you're bringing a bunch of golems to get that one star, but he was able to get it with the town hall. Uh, very close though, and good defensive play on Tig Bear's part. And here, this is a great defense from Rodbender. Rod Bender is one of our new uh, new clan mates, but his base again, it's not definitely not a max Town Hall 10 at all. A lot of upgrades needed uh, for sure. Going against and he's defending against their number one, an air attack. At that Lava Lunian um, with decent heroes too, uh, combined 37. So definitely a strong offensive unit. And in this base, he should have gotten the. Uh, um, two star at least uh, on this base for sure but he was ended up with only one why is that well he had good placement but what happened he brought too many minions I would have cut back on the minions brought an extra lava hound uh, or two uh, uh, definitely extra lava hound for sure and if he had I, I think he would have definitely one star I mean two star this base um, if you had brought that extra, because at the end, look at all those min uh, minions just taken out by those Inferno Towers. Way too many minions, bad attack on number one, from their number one. But um, before I leave, I wanted to show you another offensive attack from Tim. Now, Tim is a great attacker. He's I featured him using hogs. He, he's a great hog player as well. I'm going to speed this up a little. And then here, though, he's coming in with Lava Lunian. Actually, more Lava, lava Loon. And a couple of minions, um, but not many at all. And he has a couple hogs as well, just for some cleanup. But he does a great job. Plenty of, uh, definitely plenty of uh, lava hounds. And that is 
key, and he definitely brought enough um, to take on those air defenses. Because if you don't, if you mismatch and don't bring enough hounds, you know, this attack will not go well at all. So look at this. Already, a bunch of his bases are down, and he is just going to town here on uh, their number 14, 14. So he jumped up three spots uh, to take out this Town Hall 9 for an amazing three-star. Very solid attack. Very impressed with Tim um, and his ability to get things done uh, for sure. And right here is just a simple cleanup and uh, just going to speed it up a little bit. Plenty of troops on the board and a great, great three-star attack from Tim. So there you have it. Sadly, we lost, but that's okay. Now, definitely give me some comments in the um, if you're interested in videos, what kind of things you're wanting to see more. I'll be bringing you a bunch more dragon attacks. I am definitely going to be focusing on dragon attacks, but I'll bring you other attacks as well, especially hogs, go wipes, all, all the kind of staple attacks and maybe some odd ones as well uh, but as always it's always a pleasure and we are about to start our next war here soon so tomorrow we will be going live with the war so i'll bring you live updates from the war but as always guys we'll see you next time halo out